What if I told you there was a plugin that let you edit everything in studio just like normal? Except, you're right here, you can play. And you can dance! But as soon as I hit that stop button... Everything's still here! I've been making a bunch of plugins in my free time, so today I'm going to show you five of them I think are pretty cool, and all of them are free except for this one, so, uh, good luck. Number one! What have we done this studio, man? What is going on? So to start things off, play in studio. Unfortunately, like I said, this plugin's not free, but the rest of them are, so stay tuned if you want to see those. I think this plugin's pretty freaking cool, because you can do anything you want in studio, even in Team Create with your friends. If you do get this plugin, if you want to edit your walk speed and everything, go inside the camera. And you'll find all this junk. Say so I just set it to 160. Look at that. This plugin is five whole dollars. But yeah, don't worry. The rest of the plugins are free. Let's get the next one. Number two. So I found this free little rock pack in the toolbox, and I want to block off this cave with all of these rocks. I could go and place them all manually, but I'm going to show you something else. This. Maybe make two And then I put them up here. What if I could just make them all collapse down with physics? Well, I could go in run mode and unanchor them like a genius. I could do that, but I can't really save that. At least there's no easy way to do it. Behold! Physics move! No. I have this selected. Click this. Watch this. Move it with the physics! Move it with the physics like a god! There you go. Super easy. Click and... And also, fix your mistakes by moving it backwards. Now the result here I've got is pretty good, but I have a couple issues. First of all, this guy gotta go. So, if I want to edit one little piece of it, select it, move it around a little bit, Get in there a little bit better. Yeah. Go in there. Now this whole pile kind of sucks. So I'm going to move it all at once. I'm going to have it slam down. Because I want to freaking break it. I think that looks pretty decent. Now for demonstration purposes. We're going to get rid of our. Perfect cave. Now watch this. There's a couple other things you can do with this plugin. You can rotate it. You can scale it. Bring everything further away if you wanted to. Bring it closer together. This whole box here is just the rules, you know? You change the rules. You make them fly around, do whatever you freaking want. And if I wanted them to just collapse and die, you can do that. Bring in the old Playing Studio plugin. Have a little sky die. Next plugin. <coughs> Number three. I gotta be real with you. This place. Looks like garbage. We need, like, Christmas trees! Christmas trees! Christmas tree! Look at all these presents! Present, present, present! Santa, yeah! Oh my god, Christmas! Okay. So now what we're gonna do is select all of these, like this, and check out the prefab placer. Check this out. Boop. 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 Uh-oh. We will not use that one for now. Boop, Christmas, Christmas! 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 Yeah! So you can just click and place stuff. And, you know, you could do this if you really wanted, like, for some reason, if you're a freak. It's just an easy way to place a bunch of crap down. This, uh, this tree. We were getting mad with this tree earlier. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is look at it. Clearly there's a problem. Let's try a different face. Let's try right. Wow, I guess that. So you can place it down and do all kinds of stuff, and, you know, that's a book. For these next two plugins, I've loaded up a little scene I made with my buddies, and we're gonna we're gonna mess it up. Number four. <clears throat> Number four. You see this right here? This is a gap, and I want to get from this side to this. Let's see if I put him right here. I want him to go like from this side to this side, but I want to put a part down, and I could do that manually. Make it like a piece of wood, set the color and all that junk. But then you gotta deal with this stuff. This is avoidable. An entirely avoidable process. Because we have a plugin. Bridger. Toggle. Now as soon as that is white, and the entire time that that is white, so don't forget to turn it off, you can do this. 
Wow! Make sure you turn it off. You can make a thinner bridge or something like that. You can use this part, it doesn't even matter. If you press R while you're moving it, it will change which face it's using. So you can see I can flip it. And then when it's fat, it's because it's using this face. Because that's the fat. Make sure you turn it off. Can you do this, do this, watch this. This is one of my favorite uses for it. Do this. There's water in the way, so it doesn't really help. Wow. You do stuff like this, pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. Like stick it all together, like a real architect. Like this is what they do, right? Get like stick together, I think. This is what they do, I think. Number five. Annotations. This plugin, someone said on Twitter, Someone should make an annotation plugin, and they gave me all this detail, and so I made it. I mean, that's really all there was. So when you open up this plugin, you'll be greeted with the menu. You can click on them, get little nice animations, but you might be wondering, what? So, let me show you what. If I go over here, you'll see that other people have already done annotations, because I might have used this plugin before with a couple friends. I have a brush, it's a pencil, can make it bigger or smaller, make it about this size, we'll get to this later, brush color, I can make it whatever color I want, let's make it green, look at that, it's freaking drawing anything, it's freaking draw man, freaking freaking drawing the whole game man, freaking freaking draw, so you might be wondering, what have I just done, I'm gonna undo that, well, the technicals of this are a little bit technical, but if I close this plugin, ah, they're gone. If I open the plugin, wow! Ah! They will not show up in game either. So, what's going on here? If I look in the camera, see this annotations? These are the goods. Where is the annotation stuff stored? It's in server storage. This is, this is all it is, right? You draw, erase, and clear. I don't keep. I want to keep them. I guess the point of this would be if you're working with teams. So be like, you know what? I don't like this tree. I don't. Want, I don't want it. You know what? I want to put boss fight right here. Evil, angry guy, boss. Kind of hard to see because of the grass, but you can do this, I guess. Now it's time to get to the draw distance. Now, what does the draw distance do? What if I wanted to write in the air? For some freaky reason. Well, turn the draw distance down. Right. Hi. That's the draw distance. It's just a maximum distance that it draws. Now be warned, if you have this all the way up and write like this. Hi. You don't want that. So change the draw distance based on what you want to do. And just be cautious, hit undo if you make something stupid happen. It's fun. If you got friends uh, who also want the plugin, you know, it's free. Get them all and get it. And you can draw stuff and whatever. You can only see this stuff if you have the plugin. That's the one caveat. What do you think of my five little plugins here? Eh? Good, bad. Let me know, try them out. Review them in the comments. That's pretty much it. Have fun.